Creating Earth Prayers is a practice, a way to deepen your connection to the Earth. And you can do it anywhere you go on our planet. So come paint with me. We're going to do a sea snail so you can see how easy it is. So the first thing we're going to do is do a little bit of ink to kind of capture that shape. With a little bit of just, it's almost egg shaped when you kind of look at it. And then it's got this area that comes in over here and comes around, and then another little line that comes around. And you might not see it very much in the video, but there's a little bit more that comes in there. And then it's got this funny bit where it's kind of had the shell broken off or something. Now I could just go ahead and fill this whole area in with ink. One of the colors I have over here that I really like for doing ocean shells is an indigo blue. So I'm just going to put a few drops of water in here and grab some of my indigo blue. Start putting a layer of color in there. just to kind of capture that dark blue that the shell has. Now, one of the tricks you can play when you do this, is you can just add a little bit of color around the dark that you've already added, like it has a little border. You can also go back in and take your brush straight back into the watercolor, so it's a little darker at the tip, and come into them at the edges while the watercolor is still wet. I'll just add some dark shading there. It kind of adds a little depth and rounding to the seashell to just do the outer edges like that. I'm going to grab my paper towel over here and do a few swipes to, to empty out the color. The other thing you can do to empty out the color is to put a little bit more water in the tip by squeezing it and then wiping the paper towel. Because you see it's got this beautiful little orangey color in here. Now I have a little bit of orangey color left over from when I did the crab. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, maybe add a little bit of white to it, and come in and add some of that wonderful peachy orange color. And I might discover that I've done this a little too early and I'm going to pick up some of the ink. and. Uh, if that happens, just blot it up with the paper towel and wait till it's a little more dry. You'll notice right in here that the seashell is has what's called Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl has this wonderful pinkness to it. It's very white. There's no question about that. And so maybe you, we think we could just leave it white. But I always see that as an excuse for adding more color. So what I might do is just add a tiny bit of pink in the two outer corners. Once again, this helps to kind of round the seashell. And I leave this area in here white. And I add most of the color sort of at the ends. Now, I've added my color, and it's time to go back in and connect with that seashell and see what words want to arise. And I almost get this sense of rolling along in life. But whenever you get done writing and you've said thank you to the shell or whatever it is you're painting, be sure to come back in and sign it and put because signing it is really about putting your mark on the earth prayer. Have a wonderful day. This video is an excerpt from my new class, A Visit with Grandmother Ocean. Come visit me at AnnetteWagnerArt.com.